In this video, we are going to look at Faraday's first law of electrolysis, how to do basic calculations on it. Alright, so let's begin with stating the law. Alright, so Faraday's first law of electrolysis states that the mass of an element is charged during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passing through it. That's M is proportional to the quantity of, of electricity passing through it. Now, note that this is the formula you can apply. Uh, you have to apply to solve any problem involving for this first law of, electro of electrolysis. So we have it to be mass over molar mass equals quantity of electricity over number of moles of for this constant. All right. So this is the formula we're going to be applying, where m is the mass deposited. The capital letter M is the molar mass of the substance, whereas the N is the number is the number of moles of electricity, and we have the capital letter F to be for the constant. Right, we which is for the constant we have it to be 96,500 column. All right, then this is the formula we're going to make use of. Let's look at a typical problem on this so that we can understand this better. Let's wipe this, let's solve a problem on it. Okay, so let's look at this problem. It says, Calculate the mass of silver deposited when a current of 2.6 ampere is passed through a solution of silver salt for 70 minutes. So we have the molar mass of silver to be 108 and one further constant to be 96,500 column. All right, so during this electrolysis, silver ion we lose one electron to yield a neutral silver atom. All right, now let's bring the parameters. In this question, we have the molar mass to be 108 gram per mole. And we also have the well, the constant F to be 96,100 column. We have the current to be 2.6 ampere. All right, we have the time to be 70 minutes. Okay. Remember, we're going to apply this formula mass over molar mass equals quantity of electricity over number of moles of power and the constant. So in this case your n number of moles will be one. Your n here is one. Alright? This is the number of moles. Alright? Number of moles of electricity. Alright, so to get our quantity of, of electricity in in physics currents equals quantity of electricity over time. Alright, so the quantity of electricity to with respect to time will give you current. So that means that means to get the quantity of electricity using this formula, the cost multiply, the quantity of electricity will be current times time. Alright, so the current here is two point six. So this is two all right times we have the time to be 70 minutes so convert it to seconds very important always convert it to seconds so to convert these 70 minutes to seconds you times it by 60. let me punch it with my calculator and get the quantity of electricity okay so i have everything to be 10,920. all right so that will be the quantity of electricity okay so when you put the values in the formula you're going to have Mass over molar mass is 108. Okay, equals quantity of electricity is we have it to be 10,920. All right, over the number of moles of electricity, we have it to be one. All right, so one times five, this constant is 96,500 columns. So let me wipe this side and complete this. Okay, so your cost multiplier is going to have 
96,500 m equals 10,920 times 108. Right, so to make mass, the sorry, formula I divide both sides by this 96,500. You can see therefore the mass deposited will be let me punch this with my calculator. Okay, it will give us 12.22 if I leave it into this map this is gram. Alright, so this will be the mass of silver deposited during this electrolysis. six. Let's write this and show one more example. Okay, so look at this question. It says calculate the mass of zinc deposited when 500 milliampere of current is passed through a zinc surface solution for 5.75 hours we have the final constant on the molar mass of zinc so we're going to apply mass over molar mass equals quantity of electricity right over number of moles of electricity times per day constant so in this electrolysis doing it zinc ion we lose two number of moles of electricity to yield zinc atom all right so that means our n will be two so in this question we have our n we have our time we have our currents and we have a molar mass which is 65.4 gram per mole and we have a q which is a quantity of electricity so from the formula for catalytic current quantity of electricity of electricity with respect to time so then the quantity of electricity here will be the current here is 500 milli ampere so you convert this milli ampere to ampere to do it you divide this 500 by 1000 all right so times the time is 5.7 hours you convert it to seconds you times it by 60 times 60 again that's 60 times 60 times this value we convert to seconds okay, so let me simplify everything here with my calculator okay so everything will give us 10,250 okay let's now input the values in the formula let me wipe this side okay so we're going to have mass over molar mass is 65.4 because quantity of electricity is now 10,250 right over number of moles of electricity times times for the constant with 96,500 because multiply so you're going to have 2 times 96,500 times m so when you multiply these two you're going to have 193,000 m equals 10,250 times 65.4 so to make m the solid formula divide both side by 193,000 right 193,000 so this we can see the therefore m will be what we have let me simplify it okay so i have it to be 3.51 gram of zinc deposited during this electrolysis if you are leaving it into this map places so guys basically you can solve problems involving for this personal of electrolysis this is how you can solve problems calculation data calculation so needs just apply this formula mass of amount of mass equals quantity of, of electricity over number of moles of electricity times for this constant and uh, you'll be good to go and with this i come to the end of the class so we listen to i hope you learned something interesting if you are new to the channel, try to subscribe for more videos, so like, share, and comment on the video. Tell me how you feel, what you have learned. If you seem to have any specific questions, I feel free to be a question in the comment section below, and I will give you a response. That is for this class, guys. Thanks for watching.